Shalom, Sister Kate here. So today's video is explained by these things over here. If you can see them on the ground. It was a great big adventure. Um, we tried to start a fire while our daughters were here. And we noticed a, an inordinate amount of smoke in the house. Like, n not, it wasn't like the dark black smoke, but it was definitely smokier than usual. And so we knew something was going on with our stovepipe, and so we stopped the fire and stopped the presses. So then we had to go get a, a um, chimney sweep outfit. Uh, we bought it at TSC. We have another one, but it's down at Shofar. And today, because it was a sunny, relatively warm day, Pastor Joe climbed up that steep roof right there, and he sat up by the chimney, and the top of that up there is just set upon it. It's not, it's not screwed down or anything. So he took that off and proceeded to go in and out of the pipe with the, the uh, brush and he encountered about 10, 12 feet down some kind of blockage. So he started, you know, using the brush on it and just pull and uh, part of it um, fell off. The pole came down the chimney and then he had the idea to get a chain which is in the house, but he tied it to the roof with this long rope, and then he dropped the chain down several, several times, and that sort of loosened up, and what it was was sticks about that long, um, somehow packed in there like a nest. And then after he used the chain several times, he let the chain fall down into the bottom of the wood stove, and I untied it, and then I tied this around the pole that had fallen down, because there was no way to pull that pole out the wood stove. Our wood stove firebox is very small. So then he pulled the pole back up, reattached the brush, did more cleaning, and um, we successfully took out about that much um, twigs that were, I don't know if it was bird or a pack rat or what, but we got that out. There's now three full of air. I'm a little sooty. He's a little sooty. Um, <laughs> But we th think it's going to work, and so Pastor put the lid back on, and then he came down and brought all this stuff with him. Uh, lessons to be learned is definitely if you think there's something wrong with your wood stove or your pipe, you don't keep burning stuff in it. If it's coming back out the wood stove or if the top of your house fills up, you need to stop, and you need to clean it, and you need to get yourself the correct gear. Um, in this case, it was the sweep and the poles and a rope and a chain. And I had gloves on because soot can be very caustic. You don't just want to let it sit on your skin. Um, but hopefully it's all taken care of. We'll put it all back together and be able to warm ourselves by our nice fire. All right. Bless you. Shalom. Sister Kay here again. This is a follow-up on the chimney stuff. This is what came out of the chimney. Hold on. My shadow's in the way. There we go. Lift some of it up. That whole bucket came out? This whole bucket. It's my pulled. first time seeing it too. So it's there's ash, there's grass, there's straw, there's bits of sticks. And like I said, I don't know if that's a bird trying to build a nest or if that was a uh, pack rat trying to make one of its middens in the, in the pipe. But the way that lid is designed, something small can get in there. So we're going to have to screen hardware cloth or something the top of that pipe to keep things from coming up in there. But yeah, that was all that. And the pipe is what, six, eight inches around? Six, I think. Six, so this, you know, this is like 10 inches, so it was compacted. And that's what Pastor had to break through and, and break loose. All right, hope this taught you something. Shalom!